Hello, Pat Sharp is a highly original presence in contemporary popular culture whose career spans the worlds of radio, television and pop music. He's worked with people as diverse as Peter Powell, Yvette Fielding and PJ and Duncan. He's created hugely successful television shows like Funhouse, What's Up Doc and Funhouse. Tonight's Omnican celebrates the life and work of the Pat Man. <laughs> Pat Sharp lives the dream. After 20 years in show business, he's world famous and a multi-millionaire. Yet incredibly, he still DJs every day at London's Heart FM. This is Pat Sharp at London's Best Music Mix. 30 minutes worth in just a tick, back to back and beat to beat. Pat Sharp was born in the Ukraine in 1961, the only child of travelling radio repairman Gambo Sharpovitz and his wife Janice Longwave. In the early 70s, the family moved to a one-room lodging in Penge where Sharp first decided he wanted to be rich, famous and very good looking. It's like the manger where the little baby Jesus was born. Hello. Hello, yes, my name's Ken Corder. I'm hey. Ken Corder, I'm here with Pat Sharp. We're filming a documentary. You might like to know that Pat grew up in this house and we're just going to take a quick look around, if that's all right. Uh, I'm really busy, I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm with no. Pat Sharp, Pat no. Sharp. No. no. And I'd just like to... Listen, hello you bitch! I had the privilege of meeting Pat in his lavish penthouse apartment to discuss his life and art. What do you think makes great radio? I have been known as the uh, Darth Vader of the Master Fader at times. Why do they call you that? Is it because you're an evil man and you throttle people with your mind? No, mainly because, you know, I'm a bit of a wizard on the, uh, on the faders. So what nickname did you eventually choose yourself? Well, the main nickname was Pat Man. So, like Batman, but with a P? No, there was no comparison because between... Because Batman, of course, his parents were beaten in front of him. That's what drove him to become the caped crusader. Pat's mind was sharpened here at Penge Junior School. When you look at the windows, Pat, mm. when you see the glass reflecting your grown-up, powerful megastar face, yeah. does it make you want to sort of cry a little bit about the things that they saw no, when you were younger. No, don't worry. It's when fine. you were being punched no, I'm cool with it. No, you... when no one understood. Oh, come on. But it wasn't until 1976 that Sharp found the global acclaim he craved with the birth of his brainchild, Funhouse. How did you come up with the idea for Funhouse? Well, I do have to say, to be honest with you, it's not totally my idea. It's an American concept. I know you did come up with it, though. You thought of the house and the fun and the Funhouse. You're very kind to suggest that it is mine. OK, it's slightly annoying me now, so we'll move on. The jokes at the beginning of Funhouse are some of my favourite sharp moments. I particularly remember a, a gag, marvellous gag, with a bumper sticker. And you say, I just read a car sticker that said... If you can read this car sticker, I've lost my caravan. The pressure of coming up with lines like that on a weekly basis must have been tremendous. Mm. Soon Sharp was to find himself at the top of the world's pop charts as half of the legendary singing duo Pat and Mick. Pat, let's push a little deeper into your patness, if we can. A lot of the videos you poke fun at yourself. What is it in you that is able to do that without causing mental problems for yourself? I think you have to be able to put yourself down to make other people realise that, uh, that you are a regular guy. It's a dichotomy though, isn't it? Because we're not normal, we're everyday people. You know, we're special. You're special. I always feel I am a regular guy. No, yet. but you're not. You're special and different. So in a way, you're lying. But fame has its price. In 1983, a television miniseries depicted his life with startling inaccuracy. How did you feel about Sean Bean's portrayal of you in that series? No, 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 no. This is not me at all. But it's in his lyrics to Funhouse that we find the very core of Sharp's worldview, his philosopat. Funhouse. It's a quiz. It's a race. A real wacky place. Use your money and your brain if you want to play the game. Funhouse. Good night.